What's up YouTube, it's your boy AJ here and I'm back for another, I guess you would call this reaction video or rant or I'm just venting right now. So, um, of course you know, anybody who knows me know I'm a huge Panther fan. Huge Panther fan. All day. Um, and of course we, I'm happy. You know, we got a W, it's preseason and I really don't care about preseason to be honest. Wake me up September 9th when we beat the Cowboys. That's all I care about. So, um, yeah, I'm not worried about preseason at all. But, I feel like I do have to address a certain player. And I wasn't really going to make a video about this. But, the more, you know, the more this thing went on, the more angry I got. You know, the more it just pissed me off. So, <clears throat> Kelvin Benjamin, this is for you. I I really I don't understand you, dude. Like I really don't. Like you blame Cam Newton for what exactly? For you know, I'm just gonna read the quotes on uh what he said about Cam and what he said about the Panther organization. Well what he said about Cam. So here it is. Uh I mean I felt like I would have been more successful if dot dot dot. I don't know, man. Dot dot dot. If I would have dot dot dot, look back at it, I should have just been drafted by somebody else. I should have never went to Carolina. Truly, I just think Carolina was bad for me. It was a bad fit from the get go. If you would have put me with any other quarterback, let's be real. You know what I'm saying. Any other accurate quarterback, like Rodgers or Eli Manning. Eli Manning? <laughs> Eli Manning. Okay. Or Big Ben. Oh, that's funny. Anybody. Quarterbacks with knowledge that know how to place a ball and give you a better chance to catch the ball. It just felt like I wasn't in that position. <sighs> Kelvin Benjamin, AKA Cupcake, AKA Krispy Kreme. The reason why you wasn't in that position is because you were fat. You were fat. You were, o you were overweight. I mean, do you not forget? Like, look at how you looked. Look at that. That's how you show up to a training camp. That's how you show up to a job that requires you to be fit. A position that requires you at your fittest. It does not require that. So that's Cam Newton's fault. That's Cam Newton's fault. You looking like that is Cam Newton's fault. So I'm guessing Cam Newton took you to the buffet and make you eat. I'm guessing Cam Newton took you to Golden Corral to Shoney's and g gave you the buffet. Cause that's how you looking. But that's Cam's fault. That's Cam's fault. What else he say? What else he say? Um, quarterbacks with knowledge that know how to place a ball and give you a better chance to catch the ball. Oh, because you're a fat ass, Cam Newton has to throw it at your gut because your fat ass can't jump two inches off the ground because you're fat. That's Cam Newton's fault. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. So Cam is supposed to, uh, Cam is supposed to help you out because you're fat. And because you can't jump. And when you're supposed to be fit. So that's Cam's fault. For you not being successful. Hmm. Quarterbacks with knowledge. May I remind you that you were your quarterback was an MVP. You went to a Super Bowl the year that you went you went out. You were out with the ACL. And he's not a good quarterback. It seemed like you're not a good wide receiver. That's what it seemed like to me. You're really not in shape. That's for damn sure. You're still a fat ass. But that's Cam's fault. That's, I guess Cam put the fried chicken in your mouth. That's Cam's fault. No, dude, take responsibility for yourself, okay? Take responsibility for yourself and not 
have Cam Newton take that responsibility for you. The whole time you was in Carolina, Cam Newton had nothing but good things to say about you. Cam Newton said, you know what, Benji, he's my friend, he's gonna get in shape, I trust him, he's a professional. Benji's gonna do this. Benji will make sure this is done, this is done, that and this and that and this. I mean, everybody was saying you was a fat ass. He had your back. Really? Dude. <laughs> I, Eli Manny? I mean, that, that dude been... He's not, even the, he's not even the top tier of quarterbacks. Maybe in luck. I mean... <laughs> He may be luckiest, but he ain't in no top tier as quarterbacks. Get out of here, dude. Big Ben? So you want to be teammates with Big Ben so y'all can go and eat hamburgers and hot dogs and be fat together. That's probably what you want to do. That's probably why you mentioned Big Ben. Big Ben and Big Kelvin together. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dude. I mean, take responsibility for your own. You, you came in a training camp fat as hell and then got mad when you got traded. You got traded because you were, you, you wasn't professional. I mean, we expecting, Cam is, Cam is expecting you to be a huge receiver that's like 230 pounds, but you 280. You look like you, dude, pull that picture up. Put that picture up. You look like you belong on the offensive line. You really do. We need a left tackle. You should be at left tackle. You really should. It's, I mean, dude, look at you. You were already slow to begin with. Now you're even more slower. The only thing you have is height. And you got the nerve to actually think that you're good enough to be playing with these other quarterbacks? You think these other quarterbacks are going to let you show up the training camp like that? And expect for you to get thrown the ball to? Dude, get out of here, dude. You know, fat so you old Krispy Kreme looking dude. Get out of here, man. Lame old. Right, are you serious? Okay. And then I guess, you know, yesterday we played the Bills, which is Krispy Kreme's team. Um, and I guess Cam was wanted to check ben, Benjamin on his word. It wasn't no ill will. We wanted just to have a man to man conversation. Which is I actually applaud Cam because in a world like today where everybody's tweeting everybody and 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 saying what they want to say on facebook cam news like nah I'm, I'm gonna be cool on social media i'm gonna address this to your face and we just gonna have a man-to-man -man conversation it doesn't have to be disrespectful but we're gonna have a man-to-man -man conversation and your ass was too immature to have that conversation probably hangry he wasn't hungry he was hangry and that's all that was that's what that ha it had to be it had to be so let's just uh Let's watch this video right here and see what happened um, and why Kelvin Benjamin was so mad, I guess. So, or why he acted like a child. See, Cam is addressing him. You know, playful banter. Right there. He's trying to shake your hand after what you said in in the media. He's still trying to shake your hand. And that's the thanks he get? And he's looking at his hand like the nerve of this fat dreadhead dude. The nerve of him to not shake my hand. You're not gonna shake my hand? Okay. Okay. See, you know what? He put his hand behind his back. Say, look, I'm not here to start any trouble. I'm not here to start any trouble. I'm just here to have a man-to-man -man conversation. Can you have that man-to-man -man conversation with me? What is wrong with you? What did I do to you? Like, seriously, what did I do to you? Why are you, why are you acting like this? What is wrong with you, dude? You seriously this mad that we, that upper management got rid of you? That you willing to put both me under the bus? <laughs> Notice, 
for all men, you know a man versus a little boy. When a man gets checked, he stands straight up and he wants to address the situation. When a little boy gets checked, he's like, you know, he, he he's nervous. You can see Kelvin Benjamin's, his, his posture is so nervous. Like, look at him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back. Thomas Davis, stupid. Hold on, go back. He said, you got something on your lip. Thomas Davis said, you got something on your lip. You wanna know what that is? That's the glaze from that Krispy Kreme. Still trying to have a conversation with you. You don't want, you don't want to tell nobody why you upset. Notice Cam posture versus his posture. Notice how Cam's standing straight up like, I, like what? Are, are we gonna have a conversation or are you gonna act like a punk? Like really, like like what is this? And then, nigga, what is that on your leg? Is that to help you lose some calories? And notice, Cam said, "I'm trying to make amends. I'm 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 trying to I'm I'm trying to bury the hatchet, man. I'm I'm not trying to beef with you." And look how you acting, dude. You mess. You look like a punk right now. You really do. You look like a punk. And anybody who act like Kelvin Benjamin is a straight punk, man. Anybody. Anybody. You went to the media and had all this to say, all this about Cam, all that to say about Cam. But when Cam looked you straight in your eye and was like, "What is up with you? Why did you do that?" You act like you, you, you were hush mouth. You act like you had nothing to say. Walking back to four, you don't have nothing to say. Now you cry. I don't get it, man. I I, I really don't. I, I you know I am a I I must admit I'm a huge Panther fan. A little probably a little too much for other people, but I'm a huge Panther fan. I'm a huge Cam Newton fan. And I understand he's not the most accurate quarterback. I understand he has his flaws. But at the same time, the dude is uber talented. He is uber talented. I mean, he's he can, in my opinion, he's going to be a Super Bowl champion. Sooner rather than later. And he can easily say, oh, if I had Antonio Brown, oh, if I had, if I had uh, 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 A.J. Green, or, or Odell Beckham Jr. If I had those guys, I'd be a better quarterback. That's pretty much what you're telling us. That's pretty much what you're telling us, Calvin Benjamin. Great wide receivers. There's been greater wide receivers with less than you had. There's been great wide receivers with garbage quarterbacks. And they were still great. A wide receiver makes the quarterback. Even when the quarterback's great, a wide receiver can make him look even greater. You were just too fat to do so. You think you trying to catch footballs, you in your mind you were thinking about catching hamburgers. That was what you were going through. Fat ass. You got the nerve to get mad at Cam? Like what did Cam do? Cam didn't put that burger in your mouth. Now you wanna close your mouth. Now you won't close your mouth. Now you won't be quiet. Now you don't want to eat nothing. It's crazy to me, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry to be over here ranting. And usually I'm, I'm a little bit more happy. I'm a happy Panther fan. It's happy Monday. We beat them Buffalo Bills, by the way. We beat them. We beat them. So let's go back to when he had his little touchdown in preseason. And he got all hyped before Cam Newton went down. He scored a touchdown himself. So he got all hype. He thought he was doing something. Let's watch his little. Let's watch his little touchdown celebration. Right. Look at this. Empty backfield. Five options. Peter goes to the air. He's got an air. That's the fastest that fat ass has ever ran. That did not have food. That's the fastest he ever went anywhere that did not have food. <laughs> now you want to act like you're doing something. It, it, dude. Like, <laughs> you're ridiculous, man. I, I, I swear you. you you ridiculous. I swear, man. 
<laughs> Yo, okay, right here. There's a lady. He's he's sitting on this lady lap. Let's everybody. Let's please pray for this lady. I don't know if she's okay. You know, um, he sat on her lap. He's fat. He's like 280 pounds, and he flopped his fat ass on her lap. You know, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm. Everybody, let's take a minute to pray for this lady. One minute, thirty-seven seconds later. All right, and she's a Bills fan, so we ain't gonna be praying that long. So, but yeah, anyway, um, you know, dude, and my biggest, my, the biggest reason why I'm upset is because as a black quarterback, to hear those statements that Kelvin Benjamin said, you know, about knowledge, we already, as, as a black quarterback, you already don't get, you know, certain treatment that these other white quarterbacks get and to hear that and co coming from another black player is a uh, is that was a very coonish thing for Kelvin Benjamin to say um and I hate saying those words but it is what it is it's a very coonish thing for you to say um especially when like I said especially when black quarterbacks are so far in between and when they do come around they get they get tagged with this immediate, you know, thing that they, oh, black quarterbacks only run. They can't throw. They're, they don't have the knowledge as the other quarterbacks do. And it's just not simply true. And for Kelvin Benjamin to say things like that and to compare him, again, to other white quarterbacks, it's just, I, I, it's a very cool and same thing to say, man. And I'm very disappointed in Kelvin. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, he can kick rocks. I don't care to eat. I don't care to hear anything else about him. He is, he's a punk to me. Take responsibility for your own action, fat ass. And that's all I have to say. And I'm back to Panther Victory month, uh, Friday, man. I feel good. You know, it's, like I said, we won. We beat them in their own house. And the last time we beat them in their own house was 2015. And we all know what happened then. So, um, yeah. I, I mean, overall, I'm excited about the season. If there's any football fans, um, please let me know who's your team and how you feel about them. But, uh, yeah, be cool. Be cool on this side. Panther Nation all day, baby. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, push that notification bell, and I'll see you guys later.